What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's me Kaza the Bull bringing you more Infinite Magic Raid content. Today we're going to be focusing on his Zonia. Um, I don't currently have a Zonia, a lot of you know I don't have a Zonia, however I did use his Zonia in beta so I do know a lot about his Zonia and yes it is a boy. Um, I'm going to say this to begin with, his Zonia will carry you through campaign better than Melia. A lot of you are going to be like, what, 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 yes, he, he will. He will, and we'll explain why in a moment, but let's get into the video, but before we do, make sure you click like and subscribe, maybe leave a comment below um, saying whatever, I don't really mind, I just like to hear from you guys. So let's continue. Uh, Dragon Tribe is obviously where we have our Hizonia, so let's have a little look, and we're going to explain why Hizonia is actually a better carry than Melia, and any other health burn hero for that matter. It's all about his passive. It deals 16% more health burning damage. This is huge. Obviously it goes up to 24% when it's upgraded and that's just massive. That's the reason why he is so good for clearing waves, especially the fact that he has AOE health burn too. So compared to Melia, let's compare to Melia a second. Every other health burn hero is stacked at 8% health burn damage. Now what this means is the maximum 8% of the enemy's health. Now we need to consider, we need to consider that when we're killing waves, the enemies have less max health, say compared to a boss. So our damage isn't quite as effective. Um, this is why bleed can actually be better than, than health burning uh, for wave clearing or poison, so to speak, because it's just different the way it works. Remember that it is also stacked against 30% of your hero's max health. So it's very important if you are using Hazonia as a carry to um, to max him to 150 as fast as you can because that's going to make a huge difference as well. So let's get into why Hazonia is such a fantastic hero in itself um, and why, I, you know, I really love Hazonia and I would rate him as, you know, he is, he is a god tier hero. But do I prefer him over Melia? Yes and no. It's different. Because Melia has Valkyrie, she can self-heal, whereas Hazonia needs a support. However, you cannot, he will do the most damage out of him and Melia. He will do more damage than Melia. Okay, let's let's get into how to build him, because this isn't about a comparison between him and Melia. Um, so his ultimate is it deals 200% attack damage to all enemies with a 60% chance to inflict one layer of health burn for two turns. This is very nice, obviously, because we're dealing attack damage, but we're also dealing health burn to everyone with a 60% chance, which increases to 95% um, as long as we have enough effect hit percent, okay? We must have enough effect hit percent for this to land, because otherwise the enemy can just outright resist, all right? So th th that's huge. Obviously, at exclusive one, it triggers another health burn, which is massive. We've spoken about Dragon's Majesty, now this is absolutely huge, the fact that it deals 16% more health burning damage, up to 24%, it's just absolutely massive, and this is why he's such a hard carry, uh, it, you know, it's it's massive, okay, it's just massive, for clearing waves, it's huge. Now, Bully, oh, Bully, he's on you the Bully, okay. Uh, it deals 200% attack damage to a single enemy. Meanwhile, it deals extra damage by 3% of max health to the target for every layer of health burning, up to 5 layers all enemies have. The damage of each layer caps at 8% of Hizonia's max health. So basically, Bully deals extra damage as a hit. Considering how many health burn layers are on the enemy, obviously up to a maximum of 8% of Hizonia's max health. So it's... It's putting health burn, um, health burn on, but it's also dealing damage based on how much health burn is on the enemy, up to a maximum, don't forget, of 8%. So it's not, a, this skill is like a, a pure damage effect compared to health burn over time. So if we have a lot of health burn sacked on an enemy, we're going to deal an extra damage on top based on the amount of layers up to 8% of his max health. I'm hoping that kind of explains what Bully does. As you can see, is you know we can put more layers on as we increase this. So it is obviously three percent to begin with, but the layers will improve this. Now his single obviously is it deals hundred percent attack damage to an enemy and two random enemies with a forty percent chance to inflict one layer of health burning for two turns. This does obviously increase up to seventy percent, and it is amazing because it's a basic attack which doesn't only hit one; it hits two other enemies with health burning making it a solid, a solid basic attack. Just absolutely solid. 
um, it's really going to help you cover your enemies in health burning. It is just that, that good. Now, I want to go into Hazonia's exclusives, and this is where he can just, he becomes pretty insane, okay? Um, Dragon Flame obviously additionally triggers one more time. That's on his AoE, which is massive. At level 2, this exclusive is absolutely insane. He can deal an extra 15% more health burning damage. Which is actually broken if we, you know, this is just absolutely broken. Um, it does. Uh, okay, I need someone to tell me who knows, who's tested, who actually knows if this is in comparison with his bully to the damage he deals when he hits with it, or if it's actually a stack on top of his health burning damage that was already dealing 24%. Is he going to be dealing an extra up to 39%? Can someone let me know, please? Because I need, I need to, I need to, I need to know. Um, I should know this, but it just sounds too good to be true. It sounds too good to be true. So that's why I'm asking people to correct me if I'm wrong. So please, yeah, if you do, please correct me wrong in the comments below. Um, I'm always happy to be corrected wrong, by the way, guys, because that means that I then don't have to be wrong in the future. So if I am ever wrong in any of my videos, feel free to call me out on it. Feel free to call me out on it. Uh, level three, okay, bully. Okay, so we've just actually contradicted ourselves. Level two is definitely an increase to his health burning damage. So you don't need to comment below now. We already clarified that just from reading through. Uh, bully increases each layer's extra damage to 5% of a target's max health. Meanwhile, increases each layer's max damage to 16% of a soldier's max health. So this is a big improvement as well because it means that he is just gonna slap, even when he's using bully, he's gonna take off up to 16% of his max health from the enemy as a bonus, okay, for, for more health burning on the enemy. So that exclusive, his exclusives are just insane. If you can, um, if you can buy the, the Phantom Legendary Dragon Eyes, buy them, put them on Hazonia because he's gonna carry you through early game, mid game, late game. For sure, he's, he's he's used everywhere, okay? He's just used everywhere. He is incredible. Um, PvE, and he is used in PvP, my ad. He will cause some problems for the enemy, okay? He will. He will. Obviously, the increase to speed by 50 by 50 is selective. This is more, uh, it, it, you know, if you can get it great, it's going to have 100 extra speed. is huge. And don't forget, you are increasing the, the base stats too. So it's going to make him more health. Overall, Hisanya is an amazing hero who no one can actually challenge him on his health burning. He just deals so friggin' much just because of this passive, the 16% where everyone else is capped at 8%. If you pair him with the likes of Ockman, you're going to have in your health burn refresh. And remember, that refreshes everyone. It's not just Ockman's own, it will refresh Hisanya's too. So be sure to pair them up. If you have them both, you will have a very easy time clearing any content. Um, you'll use that team essentially right up to the end of the game. It's, you know, it's just too good. Even Mythics will have problems replacing Hisonia. Now, okay, I don't have Hisonia on this account, so I'm gonna have to, you're gonna have to just listen to me and, you know, trust me in what I'm saying on sets and stats for Hisonia. Um, I cannot build one for you right now because I haven't been lucky enough to pull one for myself, but I can tell you exactly how to build him. Now, the first things first is if you're early, you're going to want to focus straight away on Affect Hit, on the accuracy set, because Affect Hit is just massive for Hazonia. It's absolutely huge. You need to be landing all the health burn we can. If it's not landing, we're really suffering. So your first focus is pure accuracy. And when you're selecting your accuracy, make sure you're choosing um, Affect Hit affect it as well you know you want to be getting that affected in hp rate affect it in hp rate these are your two big go-tos for hazonia nothing else forget it speed is always nice don't get me wrong but if you have don't have affect it and you don't have health rate you are suffering hugely you must have these in order to make him a beast okay it's that simple so every single piece of armor we're going to want to go through and have affect it in health rate on hazonia Ignore these stats here. Remember, we're not looking at her on your head. This is Margarita. Ignore these. Ignore these. Um, and she's also poorly built, so don't judge me. If we cannot use, if we don't have enough effect hit sets, then we can definitely go into a speed set. Um, or we can go into a health set. Mix them up a little bit. If you've got a lot of effect hit, use, use a feather set. 
use a feather set to um, to boost your speed. If you've got enough speed and affect it and health rate, then choose a health set. Choose a health set. Remember, it's two two, so you can use one set and one set. So it's you know you can you can mix and match. But the sets you want to go for are as simply listed as accuracy, health, feather set, speed set. Even if you can get the stats. Um, and first aid set is the king set. It's the king set. If you've got a first aid set, make sure you're using that on here, Sonia. Um, and really focus your HP rate. Really focus your HP rate. As much health as you can get. And affect it, of course. Don't forget the effect. It is very valid. You're going to want to aim to have about 60% affect it. And you're going to really want to push that HP rate too. So, you know really do try and roll as good as you can i know early on you're going to be restricted that's why the accuracy set is so fantastic because um it just gives you it just gives you a 40 percent flat rate across the board if, if that's all you're using and then we can focus our other stats in between that on artifacts on artifacts you can even choose between mastery and health mastery is probably the way to go um because it is it is going to multiply your health burn um but you need to have the HP rate there, okay? If you don't have the health, it's pointless going for the mastery. So it's more of a late game goal mastery. Early on, you just want to really focus, affect it, and HP rate. If you can get mastery as well, great. But early on, you really want to focus that. So too focused into mastery. Because if you don't have the health, remember that damage is capped at 30% of your health burn hero's maximum health. So without the maximum health is pointless having the mastery because we're not dealing that extra damage that we would get from the mastery and the max health. I'm hoping that makes sense. Um, so we'd either choose mastery, which is obviously a base increase, which does improve to quite a bit. You can see it just level one, a five star piece is 8%. So this would go up quite a lot. Um, health rate as well. You can choose HP, but make sure that you have affected and HP rate selected. If you get a mastery piece that has both of these on, fantastic. If you get a HP set that has both of these on, fantastic. You can select mastery too, so don't be afraid to really try and maximize. Maximize the best pieces for your Hazonia. On the second artifact, we're going to want to choose affect it. Nothing else. Forget everything else. Affect it. I don't even care if it's low. Um, if it's a low start, the effect it is just too big for you to, to not have. So really do push on for on your second one. Affect it, HP rate and mastery, speed as well. You know, try and when you when you're getting these pieces, we can really start to select speed because we do need speed for our Hazonia because we can obviously we want to be attacking first. If we're missing a turn, if we're going after the enemy, that is basically one turn missed. So we need to be faster than the enemy. And obviously the fifth artifact. Or the third artifact, should we say? I get confused because it's Awakened 5. We're going to want to choose speed. Forget everything else. If you don't have any speed, put HP on. But always selecting HP rate, affect it. And if you are using something else other than speed, your secondary attribute here is going to want to be speed, HP rate, and affect it too. So, you know, don't forget mastery, but focus, really focus. I can't stress enough. I can't stress enough to all of you how important it is to have massive health to have massive health just because of that 30% cap on your max health as damage okay it's just, it's just huge you must have it you must have as much health as possible um you know if you was really really lucky and had a health set that had crazy effect it and crazy health rate on it then you know you can even push through for that that's why feather is so good because it does 10% speed 10% health um and that can really, really help you build a very strong, a very strong Hazonia, but you must have huge effect hits. Effect hit is more important than the health burn because, uh, more important than the health, really, because if we're not landing, the health is invalid. Okay, it's just invalid. Now, if we're going to go and look at our emblems, I'm hoping you guys have, have understood what I've said about having looking at a Hazonia here. Um, I'll go over it one more time. We're going to want to focus effect it, speed, HP to begin with. Um, early on, it's definitely affect it. Maybe one set of affect it, one set of speed. Maybe one set of health, one set of affect it. It's your choice. It depends how your substats roll. Do someone here that isn't built up. Now, we're going to build him pretty similar to 
holder this is holders emblems currently that i'm using uh don't judge me it's my old account okay don't judge me it's my old account things haven't been hugely developed right um but the first thing you're going to want to choose straight away for some emblems is this on support is the effect it because it's just massive um we need that effect it is 4.4 it's 4.5 percent or if you're really stacked and affect it later on we can choose the hp enhancement just to give us a base increase on our health uh, we may not need this 4.5 percent effect it because we may roll great in our gear so it's really player dependent on what they have and what they don't have moving down i would choose the healing enhancement so when south of the shield damage taken is less before the end of the first turn of each wave effect it is increased up to six percent this can also be very very nice now i do like magic touch because it gives us a chance to reduce the cooldown of a skill by one turn when casting any skill so this is also a very good one magic touch is the way to go um now we was talking about speed earlier and why it's important this emblem here is a prime example of how much of a difference speed can make as well. Uh, for targets of lower speed than self, effect hit is increased. Now this is pretty massive, you know, it goes up to 9%. That's a big effect hit increase. Um, so if we can get enough speed, it's very good to have this emblem. Now the speed final support here could potentially be good for you, but don't forget there is also um, max health here, which is going to benefit you a lot. And there is mastery here, which is also going to benefit you a lot. So you've got to choose between really, do you want the speed, the, the mastery, or do you want the max health? It's all going to depend how good gear you have and where you're lacking. If you're lacking in mastery and you have a ton of max health, then we're going to probably want to choose mastery but if we're lacking in max health and we need to give ourselves a boost we may need to scrap the attack side of things and go defense for the max health but then we're also losing a lot of other benefits um, such as uh, when self health is full we're dealing extra damage also at the start of the turn self damage over time dealt is increased 1.8 percent up to five times um, when self has a buff, damage that was increased, obviously, yes. Uh, for targets with damage over time, debuff, damage over time, doubt is up to 9%. You know, it's improving everything. It's improving everything. When attacking targets whose health is above 50%, damage over time is increased by 9%. Um, these all are pretty helpful, I'm not going to lie. So if you are going for that max health, be prepared, you are going to sacrifice some of these. Uh, we're attacking targets whose health is higher than self damage dealt has increased so that's bosses um and obviously the mastery is pretty huge so we really need to focus and think what we're lacking and what we're not so i, I do hear a lot of people going down the health route on defense but ideally we want to be stacked in health rate already and we can benefit from the mastery from this alongside the other emblems inside of this and we really do want to be going support because it's an increase on our effect hits it's a chance to uh, to reduce our cooldowns and also i mean even better and better when inflicting an attribute debuff buff successfully there is a certain chance to increase the duration of that by one turn so if we don't have an aquamin we can actually have a chance of increasing our health burn duration so these as well you know Personally, if I had a Hizonia, I would, and the way I build Hizonia is basically effect it, full health, I would be going down the attack route. But there are some people going down the defense route for the max health. Um, this is the best way for me. In my opinion, this is the best way. Attack tree, support tree. Um, that's what Hizonia is. That's what Hizonia is to me. And I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with that. Yeah. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps some of you with, with the emblems. With the auras, we've got to go into... Okay, so for the auras on Hizonia to begin with, obviously it's going to be a range hit aura for every one enemy target. Increases self-effect hit up to... Do you get called out on this? Up to 8%, up to 18%. It's not, it doesn't multiply, so I did hit multiply before and that would be OP. So I do apologise to anyone that... Yeah. Um, it's up to so the more enemies we have if we have five enemies it's going to go up to, to eight percent up to 18 it, further on down the line so this is the one you want to go for for a green mastery expert aura is very good for hazonia later on as well being a blue um, it increases our mastery rate now 
If you have purples, really look at this Dwarven Blessing Aura. It gains more max health in Dwarven Ruins. Now, a lot of people are using Hazonia for Dwarven Ruins, for dungeon farming, because he's just that good. Now, if we can increase our max health by 54% fully upgraded, but 24% at a base, this is huge as well. We're going to be dealing a ton more damage. Also, we have the Hitmaster Aura, which is increasing our effect here. So if you're lacking in effect it and you have a ton of max health, we can choose this as well. Remember, it is player preferable. So if you just 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 think where you're lacking. The mastery surge again is also very good. I would still choose Dwarven or Hitmaster personally, but it does increase your mastery and it, it gives it a surge on all allies, increasing their mastery by a certain amount. If I did, okay, if I did, there's only one for me for Hazonia, and it's hit Grandmaster Aura. Health up and effect it up. It's massive, it's huge. So if you can, definitely choose this. Okay guys, so that is Hisonia for you. That is my view on Hisonia and how you would use and build. I hope you enjoyed, I hope it's helped. Um, expect a lot more content covering other heroes and showcases and, and guides and builds in the future. Thank you everyone for watching, take care.